Hello again. Once upon a time, and I'm talking now not of Victorian times, but rather the 1980s and 1990s, anybody wishing to join the British Army had to have grandparents who were British citizens or at least British subjects from the Commonwealth. In other words, people who were from foreign families were not allowed to join our army. The reasoning behind this was simple and sensible. If we went to war with a country and some of our soldiers were citizens of that country or had parents who were nationals of that country, this might create a conflict of loyalties. This would be unfair on the soldier and dangerous for our army. Needless to say, in the headlong rush towards diversity and inclusion, this rule was jettisoned, and so we see criminal cases such as the one currently being held at Woodage Crown Court, a stone throw from Belmarsh High Security Prison in South London. The case is live, which means I have no idea if the man on trial is guilty of the offence with which he is charged. I'm not suggesting he is guilty. I know nothing really about the case other than one simple fact. Daniel Khalifa is charged with gathering, publishing or communicating information that might be useful to an enemy, as well as having elicited or attempted to elicit personal information about armed forces personnel that was likely to be useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism. Essentially, this young man, a soldier in the British Army, is accused of spying for Iran. It is alleged that he was arranging to be trained in espionage in either Iran or Lebanon. His mother is Iranian and his father Lebanese. Just at the moment, the news from the Middle East might probably suggest to viewers why this ancestry and background might in and of itself present a problem if the British Armed Forces became involved in the war being fought between Israel, Iran and Lebanon. As I say, I know little about the court case and have no reason to suppose that Khalifa is innocent or guilty. Should we have dropped the rule about soldiers having to be from British families? Many would say that it makes sense to avoid possible conflicts of interest. The same applies, of course, to the civil service and perhaps other roles as well. The Aliens Restriction Amendment Act, passed at the end of 1919, made certain positions unavailable to foreigners or those with foreign parents. Aliens is, of course, what we used to call foreigners in this country. The Act contained clauses such as after the passing of this Act, no alien shall be appointed to any office or place in the civil service of the state, as well as no alien shall act as master, chief officer or chief engineer of a British merchant ship registered in the United Kingdom, or as skipper or second hand of a fishing boat registered in the United Kingdom. Quite right too. I am far from convinced that the drive for diversity has always worked in this country's best interests. I can certainly see the advantage to foreigners and their children in relaxing some of these laws, but I do not see how it is to our advantage. The Aliens Restriction Act is no longer applicable, of course. Viewers might be surprised to learn that it remained in force until as late as 1971 when it was replaced by the 1971 Immigration Act. It is in some ways a pity that this very sensible act was abandoned. As usual, in the description to this video, I give links to sources which back up what I've been saying here. 